What's up everybody? Welcome back to 31 Days of Palenko. We are back with a video today and not a live stream. We are here in Crystal Gardens and we are going to finish up Crazy Eights with its scenery and signage and stuff before it goes for uh, custom supports. I've got a, got a person who says they are going to do the custom supports for me. Um, not, I've, I've not seen any other work, but I guess I'm going to go ahead and pass the coaster over to them, see how well they do. And then for the rest of it, I'm just going to be finishing that up today. Now, a couple things before I get started on that, I have went ahead and went in to fix the track. So it is completely like straight here on top and a couple of other places here I went. I really would prefer it to be here, but I can't seem to get that to, to work right there. So it doesn't want to. Um, it is using the mod, uh, which basically lets me, like, I have no limits on tracks and stuff and add shuttle launches to different coasters. So we were able to get a shuttle launch onto this, which, you know, it basically throws it back this way and then actually it shoots it forward, throws it back this way, and then shoots it forward again, which is the way that the coaster is supposed to work. So I'm pretty happy with that. Although I think I showed that off in the last video, but I'm just making sure I've, that I'm not missing anything before we go into that. All right, so anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and start working on the scenery pieces. Okay, so one of the first things we're going to need to make is, since this is going to be a playing cards kind of theme, obviously we are going to be needing to make the actual playing cards themselves. So the way I'm going to start with this is I'm going to be using abstract shapes to make the actual shape of the card and I'm going to do it in two different layers because when you start putting them overlapping each other if it's all the same color it's going to be uh, it's not going to mix right you're not going to be able to tell one card from where one card meets the next card so I decided to do this in layers with a black layer underneath of a white one and that way it has a black outline around the card which will help for like when you put all the cards together you'll be able to see you know the different cards uh, you, you will see what I'm talking about once we actually get finished with this but yeah so as you can see I've placed the first layer down of the black and then now I'm just basically I raise it up change the colors and then I have shrunk it down so I'm taking each of the corner pieces and just shrinking it down so that it has a slight black outline around the actual edge. Now that we actually are getting this part right here done, the next section is going to be making the different versions of the eight cards. So we're going to need four different cards, um, two red ones, two black ones. We're going to need diamonds, hearts, spades, and um, ooh, What's the, what's the last one? <laughs> I can't think of what it's called. Anyway, we're going to need four different ones. Uh, so we're going to make the diamond, and then we're going to make uh, the next one here, and so forth and so forth. Uh, the clubs. Uh, I think the club is the next one I did here. So for the club, I was looking at it, and I think I may, I may have made the cards slightly too small when I was doing this. Um, because the symbols on them are going to be just a little too large for the actual card but in the end I'm actually okay with it because the cars themselves were the perfect size it's just these are the smallest abstract shapes we have and trying to use these to make the symbols on the cards uh, you know to make the different cards are it uh, it was kind of a pain the heart actually here this one right here the one I'm working on right now the hearts was the hardest one to do get it the hardest one to do um, but I think it actually came out kind of good, if not just slightly off a little bit. I still think it came out fairly well. Um, I probably should have left it alone with just doing the two triangles, but I kept screwing around with it. And in the end, it it's not perfect, but I, I don't think anybody's going to be able to tell a, a huge difference between... Um, you know, I don't think nobody's going to be looking at that close of detail on it. So, in the end, like I said, it came out good enough, which is perfect. And then we're going to make the last suite right here of cards. And this one, yeah, it's, uh, is it the, it's not the spade, is it? Let's see, clubs, hearts, 
diamonds, spades. Yeah, this is the spade. Okay, yeah, so we're making the spade. Um, and as you can see, this actually didn't take me very long. I, I think this video, I didn't actually do the time lapse down like 600 times like I typically do on these. Uh, these are done at 500 times. So for the sign, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to take uh, an in-game sign and we're going to attach the cards to it. So now you can kind of see, now you see why I did a black layer underneath of it to make an outline of the card. Because when you start putting the cards together there, you kind of see how, now you can actually tell which card is like over top of each other and how they're in layers like that. If I had left that completely white, that would not have worked. So now we're just going to take this sign here that we've already made, we are going to throw it over here on the actual building and work with that. So I was, my original thinking was that we're going to put the sign on the building itself here. And then somebody had mentioned making an entry sign too, which I kind of felt we kind of needed an entry sign and that. And since I didn't want to make uh, multiple cards and stuff like that, and I didn't want to make like different sizes, I thought, well, let's just try to make this work. The problem is having the entrance facing that particular direction. Um, I ended up with, you'll be able to see the crazy eight sign like twice and it's in the same direction. It doesn't really work. Uh, at one point you saw me there place it on the ground because I was kind of thinking, um, well, hey, what if we do it in the ground like it's painted on the sidewalk? But that didn't work. So that was a bad idea. So what I eventually decided to do here was just take it off the building and then put it over here on the side. And then make a support structure behind it like the support structure is holding it up. So it's kind of at an angle to the side of the entrance so that when you're coming down the path, you'll still be able to see the side. And I think it works there better. Uh, what you're not going to actually see me do is the finishing touches. Um, I did actually figure out how to decorate the actual station. Um, and I think it kind of worked out really well. So we're, we're going to show that off in just a minute once we go into the live view. So once I got the uh, the support structures down there, I was just kind of trying to find a good uh, concrete stand, like a footer for the, the thing to hold the sign up, basically. Um, these were the closest ones I found, so I just decided to go with those. All right, and you can see me here. I was thinking maybe I might try to place the sign somewhere else, but yeah, I just, I, I wasn't happy with putting the sign anywhere. I, I was actually also thinking maybe I'd put the sign up on the actual coaster somewhere. So maybe when uh, Seawild does the supports, maybe we could like put the sign on the supports somewhere facing that particular direction. But yeah, I just don't think it works there. So we're not going to do that. All right, so let's head over into live view. Alrighty guys, it is time for the grand reveal. As you can see from the time-lapse video, we got most of the sign pretty much done. And I toyed around with how to decorate the actual station, but I never could find anything that actually worked until a little bit later after that. So I will be showing that off to you. So as you approach the coaster, coming up the path here, you will see the sign it's kind of sticking up. I've also worked a little bit on some fencing right there and some nice gardening and foliage effects right there. And as we're going to walk in to the queue line, you will see I have decorated the station a little bit with these playing cards. Um, I decided to take all the playing cards apart and just do them like one at a time and just kind of uh, place them around the edge of the station, like all the way around it, as you can see. Now, I think it kind of works. I'm not 100% sure on it though, so let me know what you guys think. Do you like the playing cards as they are? Or should I just take them off? Or what do you think? I probably still need to put maybe some kind of uh, maybe fencing or something right around through here just to finish it off. But I think adding the playing cards right around the edge of the station, like all the way around, I think really kind of uh, set it off a little bit more to a uh, to like a, a playing cards kind of look to the, for the theme that we're going for. I think it works out quite well. Now, I do hate the fact that this the car comes into the station like so quick right there. I wish I could like somehow maybe break that down, but yeah, there's just no way to do it. 
Not with a shuttle launch, anyway. Alright, but that is going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Taking a look at Crazy 8s here, and I think it worked out quite well. Uh, I am very, very happy with this coaster. Next, it will be going to Sea Wild, and he will be working on some supports. And uh, first time I've ever actually worked with this one, so I, I don't know how well he'll do, but we'll, we'll find out. Um, so we'll, we'll let him or him or her, I'm not sure. Uh, we'll let them uh, show off their skills and see how good they are at custom supporting a coaster. So, uh, I could probably do it, I just don't feel like it. <laughs> it's probably as simple as that. Anyway guys, that's going to do it for here in Crystal Gardens. We are pretty much done here. I'll probably be back just to show off the custom supports when they're done. Uh, other than that, that is going to be it for 31 Days of Planko here in this particular park. In the meantime, wherever you guys are in the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Thanks for watching.